So it's finally happened. We now have a Steam beta update released just today, which makes the Steam client a natively optimized Apple Silicon Mac application. And this couldn't come at a better time. And that's because Steam has been an Intel application being translated through Rosetta 2 for the entirety of the Apple Silicon lifespan thus far. And it was only a few days ago at the beginning of WWDC that we got the news that Rosetta 2 was going to be deprecated in the future. And that would mean that x86 Intel applications, which weren't updated to native ARM, would no longer be able to run through Rosetta 2 on future macOS updates past 27. And although Apple did mention that they would keep support for Intel applications for older unmaintained games, it remained a bit unclear about which category Steam would necessarily fall into. It's not exactly an old game, but it is a hugely popular game launcher and technically a rival to Apple's own games launcher releasing in macOS Tahoe. And what's exciting about this Steam update is the fact that this is going to make the Steam client way faster. So here we're just comparing the Intel version of Steam against the new Steam ARM update. And you can see that the ARM version of Steam loads up way faster. And it's not just loading, scrolling and moving around the client just feels a lot more fluid and agile. And one of the main reasons this is happening is because Steam integrates the Chromium embedded framework, basically using the Chromium browser rendering engine to load in web content from the store and community and other pages. And one big reason why the Intel version of Steam ran so slow is because it was always going through this Rosetta 2 translation layer. But now basically Chromium embedded framework has moved from the Intel version into the natively optimized Mac version. It means that basically every time you click on a Steam element, it's going to run substantially faster. So eventually we're going to see this fantastic new update integrated into the Mac Steam client. However, if you wanted to try this out right now, you can go ahead and enter the beta. So to access the beta, all we need to do is to have the Steam macOS client open, then go to the menu bar on the top left, click on preferences, and then we're going to go and scroll down to interface. And then here we have client beta participation on the left here. Just click on no beta chosen and then change this into Steam beta update. So we're going to select this and it says you will need to restart Steam in order to select a new beta. Click restart now. So this is going to go ahead and shut down and then Steam is going to reopen. Then this is going to download the new beta update, 230 megabytes. So now we're in the native ARM version of Steam. You can confirm this by clicking on spotlight typing in activity monitor. And then if you do a search for the word Steam, you can see that this is now kind Apple. So it means that this is running as an Apple Silicon Mac optimized application. Anyway, it's really exciting to see that Valve are investing time and money into updating the Mac version of the Steam client, especially considering that they've abandoned other projects, for example, Counter-Strike 2 Mac port. Even though the Mac port was complete, they decided to ditch it in the end. And I think that this is actually partially down to the fact that there aren't that many Mac Steam users, only 1.85%, which is substantially lower than the current Linux and Steam Deck player base. So anyway, let me know in the comments what you thought about this Steam ARM update. Is this a return to form for Valve support on Mac? Or is it just the case that Valve are just keeping Steam on life support and doing the very bare minimum of updates so that it can continue working past the deprecation of Rosetta 2 and that this might be the last piece of investment that Valve do on Mac? So anyway, let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.